Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we are going to look at the four latest Arsenal news. The first Arsenal news is that Metro has confirmed an Arsenal update, as they confirm we're in a good position as Arsenal Academy Chief Pamatazaka drops hint over exciting midfielder transfer, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of World Cup Germany International and Manchester City midfielder Ilkay Gundogan. Arsenal Academy manager Pamatazaka has hinted that the club are in a good position to seal the transfer of Manchester City midfielder Ilkay Gundogan, the 32-year-old is set to become a free agent this summer, and it's not yet clear what he'll decide to do after achieving a stunning treble victory with Man City this season. The 32-year-old has been a crucial player in Man City's remarkable campaign, with focus now turning to his contract situation, Gundogan has played a key role in this remarkable success for Pep Guardiola's side, particularly with his superb match-winning brace against Manchester United in the FA Cup final. Gundogan may have played his final game with his current deal expiring this month, leading to interest from Arsenal, Barcelona, and Borussia Dortmund, but the German did not confirm a departure after the Champions League triumph. He told ESPN, I haven't decided my future yet. Arsenal have been linked with Gundogan by Sport and others, and now Matazaka has spoken about the situation during punditry duty with German broadcaster ZDF. As quoted by the Metro, Pamatazaka, who is now the head of Arsenal's academy, believes that victory in Europe's biggest competition could pave the way for a move to North London, the former AFC defender seems to think the North London Giants are in a good position to sign Gundogan, suggesting that the German midfielder might now feel his job with City is done after all the success they've enjoyed this season. I think the clubs are queuing, Matazaka said. Because, Mikel, Oteta knows him and we probably haven't broken off contact, we're in a good position, I think he'll let it all sink in first and then choose from one of the four clubs. The second Arsenal news is that Spanish outlet Sport has confirmed an Arsenal update, as they confirm Arsenal lead race to sign, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of World Cup Portugal international and Manchester City defender João Cancelo. Barcelona might have fallen behind Arsenal in the race to sign João Cancelo from Manchester City this summer, according to a report by Spanish outlet Sport. João Cancelo is closer to joining Arsenal than Barcelona in the summer transfer window. The Gunners are already in talks to sign the Manchester City fullback. Meanwhile, Bayern Munich will not exercise the option to sign him permanently for €70 million. Euros. Joao Cancelo has been one of the best fullbacks in the world in the last few seasons. But he finds himself at a crossroads in his career, with his next destination unknown. Bayern Munich signed him on loan in the January transfer window but will not exercise the option to permanently sign him for €70 million. Euros. Meanwhile, Manchester City will look to cash in on him in the summer transfer window. So the Portuguese international has likely played his 154th and final game for the Premier League club. And Cancelo's situation has captured the attention of a few high-profile clubs, including Barcelona and Arsenal, the right-back slot has been the Achilles heel for Barcelona for several years. And amid the never-ending search for Dani Alves's heir, they are keen on signing a right-back this year. Cancelo's name has thus emerged as the top target for Barcelona heading into the summer transfer window, but Barcelona will have an uphill task to secure Cancelo's services this summer. Firstly, they cannot afford to pay 70 million euros, or even slightly less than that sum, to sign the Portuguese international. Meanwhile, Manchester City and Arsenal are in talks over a possible summer deal for the player. The report claims that the Gunners are in the pole position to sign the 29-year-old. And with Mikel Arteta keen on adding an attack-minded right-back to his squad, Cancelo is a viable target. In addition, he can also be an option for the left-back berth amid uncertainties surrounding Kieran Tierney. Meanwhile, the report claims that Barcelona might not sign a right-back at all this summer. So Arsenal can have a clear run at the Manchester City fullback. And it will be interesting to see if the Gunners seal the deal to secure Cancelo's services. The third Arsenal news is that Belgian journalist Sasha Tavaliri has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Arsenal now make their move to sign £22 million player who once admitted he was a boyhood Gunners fan, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of World Cup Belgium international and Leicester City defender Timothy Castan. Arsenal have reportedly opened talks with Leicester City star Timothy Castan.
A player who once admitted he was a boyhood Gunners fan, that's according to Belgian. Journalist Sasha Tavaliri, who took to Twitter on Sunday to claim that Arsenal have made their move to sign Castan. Arsenal will be keen to bolster Mikel Arteta's squad over the summer after narrowly missing out on the Premier League title this season. The Gunners will be on the lookout for a new right-back and possibly even a player for the opposite flank, with Kieran Tierney's future in doubt. Mikel Arteta's men have already been linked with a move for Timothy Castan, with the Daily Mirror reporting that the 27-year-old is on their radar. Now, it seems Arsenal have stepped up their interest in the Belgian fullback. Tavaliri claims that Arsenal have opened talks with Leicester over signing Castan this summer, the Leicester star. Is Arsenal's number two target behind Real Valladolid's Ivan Frisnida and that the move could develop quickly? Castan completed a switch to Leicester for a fee worth £22 million back in September 2020. The fullback enjoyed a brilliant start to life in the Premier League under Brendan Rodgers, but has struggled for form over the past year, and before making the switch to the King Power Stadium, he once claimed he was a boyhood Arsenal fan. Arteta has built a side capable of challenging for the Premier League title and it would be difficult to see Castan turning them down now. While Castan hasn't been at his best for the Foxes this season, he could be a decent backup option for Arsenal. He's a versatile fullback who can operate off either side, which would also provide cover for Alexander Zinchenko should Tierney move on this summer. The final Arsenal news is that Ryan Taylor has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms highly rated £65 million star could reach new level at the Emirates, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of France international and Bayer Leverkusen attacker Moussa Diaby. Arsenal could look to win the race for Moussa Diaby as the Bayer Leverkusen star may reach a new level at the Emirates Stadium. Daily Express journalist Ryan Taylor has told GiveMeSport, while Mikel Arteta has set his sights on landing West Ham United captain Declan Rice, with an official bid expected to be lodged after positive discussions have been held in recent days. The Gunners boss is also eager to strengthen his options further up the pitch. According to Mail Online, Diaby has emerged as a lead target ahead of Arsenal looking to splash the cash during the summer transfer window. The report suggests the France international is of serious interest to Arteta, who is aiming to add further depth to his attacking options, but Manchester United, Newcastle United and Real Madrid are also in the hunt for his signature, however, Arsenal may have been boosted in their pursuit of Diaby as it is understood that Newcastle are unwilling to meet Leverkusen's demands at this stage, the Bundesliga side have slapped a £65 million price tag on their prized asset, while Paris Saint-Germain are another club mulling over whether to head to the negotiating table. Sky Sports reporter Domesh Sheth recently told GiveMeSport that he doubts Arsenal's interest has gone away after they also considered a move for Diaby during the winter window, while Taylor is unconvinced that Arsenal will be able to sign Rice and Brighton Hove Albion midfielder Moises Caicedo. He believes Diaby could be on Arteta's shortlist of potential recruits. The respected journalist feels the forward could take his career to new heights by swapping Leverkusen for the Emirates. Stadium. Taylor told GiveMeSport, I'm not quite sure they have the financial muscle to pull off both Rice and Caicedo. But, at the same time, I do think we can expect Arsenal to be shopping in a market where they're looking at players that will also interest a lot of clubs, an example would be someone like Moussa Diaby, who is clearly highly rated. Newcastle and Paris Saint-Germain are also interested. He ticks that under-25 box and is a player that can reach a new level at Arsenal, that's what I expect to see but I don't expect to see scattergun recruitment. It's going to be concise and I believe Arsenal already have a clear shortlist of targets, do you know the Arsenal news on Declan Rice? You will enjoy this video on your screen too.